Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. For today's video, we're doing some DIY projects with some items from the Dollar Tree. The techniques that I use in these projects can definitely be used on other items that you already have or things that you can find at other stores. And I always like to make that disclaimer at the beginning because not every Dollar Tree is created equal. At the Dollar Tree that I go to, sometimes I find really awesome stuff and then other times I really can't find anything. This time around, I picked out items that are there all the time. They are not seasonal or holiday items. You will most likely be able to find these, so hopefully you can recreate them. I also tried out some new techniques in this video, so I hope you guys like them. And without further ado, let's jump into the first project. Hello from voiceover Tina. First up from the dollar store, I'm using this clear acrylic organizer. You can find these in the school supply section. And I actually have a few of these already and they work great for so many things. We'll be working on the lid for this project so you can set the bottom piece aside. I'm going to be using dried flowers to spice up our lid and this lid has a small lip on it which is perfect to add some embellishments. So I'm laying out my dried flowers where I want them to be and just arranging some of the larger focal flowers in the middle as well as tiny petals and accent flowers and feel free to pull apart the larger flowers to create little seeds and petals as filler. And for my color palette, I'm keeping it light and happy with these white and yellow florals. So I'm gonna set that aside and start mixing up my epoxy resin. And this is actually my first time using it, so I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit nervous. But essentially we need equal parts of the resin and the hardener, and I used the measurements on the side of the cup that my kit came with. So I have this one linked down below, but I just needed a little bit, so I measured out about 30 milliliters, which is the perfect amount. And with the popsicle stick provided, I'm going to give it a really good stir. Then I went ahead and added in some gold leaf flakes, but I kind of went overboard, so you'll see later that I just take some out so that I have less in there. And please keep in mind that you should wear gloves, a mask, and even eyewear to protect yourself. You should always use epoxy resin with caution in a highly ventilated area or a open window. So after mixing that up, I tried to get some of the air bubbles out by tapping the bottom, and I also let it sit for a few minutes so that the bubbles would rise to the top and pop. Then I just poured it right onto the lid and I'm mostly focusing it on the larger flowers and also spreading it as evenly as I could. After I got it all in there, I took some tweezers and I moved the flowers around and I also removed some of those gold flakes as well. There is definitely way too much in it and what's nice about this resin is that there is a 40 minute working time so you're able to work with the resin to level it out and also move things around or even add or remove things as well. I've always loved this look and I thought that this lid would be perfect for this design and as you guys can see, it was so simple to recreate this look. So now I'm pretty happy with that so I'm gonna let it cure for at least 24 hours. And here's how it's looking after it's all dried. To my surprise, there were no air bubbles, so I was super happy about that. At this point, you can go ahead and paint the edges to create a border in gold or whatever color you'd like, but I just wanted to keep the clear acrylic look, so my project is done. This DIY was so easy, and I really love how you can upgrade a basic item from the dollar store with a simple resin technique. This organizer can be used for so many things like holding your jewelry, your desk supplies, or used anywhere else in your home. I'm so happy I finally got to try out resin, and I think this just looks so stylish and beautiful. To create our super trendy candle holder, we're going to use one of these foam wreaths and they are pretty dense. They also have a little bit of weight to them, making it a great base for our next project. The first thing I'm doing is cutting in half on both sides and I'm going to use my little hacksaw that I also got from Dollar Tree. I tried to use a box cutter at first, but that didn't work, so you definitely need to use a sturdier blade to cut through it. We're only going to use one half of it, so I'm going to put the other one aside. Now I'm cutting off the round part of the half circle that we have, and this is going to give us a flat bottom for our arch to sit on, and I tried my best to get this as straight as possible. Then to level everything out, I used some sandpaper right onto where we cut it, so I did that on the bottom as well as the two other edges. So next I wanted to cut out a circle for our tapered candles, and I discovered that the inner rim of a plastic bottle cap actually works out perfectly, so I just took my scissors and I cut the outside and just kept the inner part of it. 
Using the cap as a cutter, I'm gonna push that right into the foam and this is gonna create a perfect circle. And after that, I just used an X-Acto knife to cut into the circle and I wanted this to be deep enough for a candle to sit into. And it's definitely not gonna be perfect on the inside, but I think that is totally fine and I just repeated that onto the other side as well. I also added in a little bit of air clay into the hole just to level it out a bit and I let that to dry before moving on to the next step. Now to give it some color, I'm using some regular old acrylic paint in a very neutral light tan color. I use my foam brush just to get it on there and I really like the texture that the wreath already has. And when you put the paint on it, it gives it a really nice stone-like look. So I just let this dry in between coats and I had to give it about three coats to get everything even. I also wanna mention that this project is totally for decoration only. I've been seeing this project floating around so I will link some other sources down below. But now that I'm creating it for myself, I would not recommend lighting your candles without supervision, especially since the foam is flammable. So I wanted to make this disclaimer that I'm going to use this for decoration only. Once that's all painted, you can go ahead and give it a coat of clear spray paint and your modern candle holder is complete. This project is such a great dupe for modern arch candle holders that I've been seeing everywhere. And what's great about this project is that you can create two candle holders with one foam wreath and make it a rainbow or a U shape. It's totally up to you. I absolutely love how this came out. I think it looks so cute and it was also so easy to do. All right, so I saved the easiest project for last and we're going to give this basic glass vase an upgrade. So first I'm going to use an oven baked polymer clay in a black color and I'm just going to soften it up with my hands. Then I'm adding in some white clay and I'm going to twist it together to give it a gray marble effect. I didn't want to have any black veining and wanted the marble to be very subtle so creating this gray color is going to be perfect. And if you haven't tried marbling with polymer clay before, it's just so easy to do. All I'm really doing is twisting it and rolling it up until I got a pattern that I liked. All right, so now I'm gonna take this piece of clay and I'm going to marble it together with a white clay. And like I mentioned, I wanted this to be very subtle, but if you want to have a more pronounced veining, you only need to mix it up a little bit, so it's really up to you on what you're going for. Then with my rolling pin, I'm going to roll this into an even slab and I'm placing three popsicle sticks stacked on both sides of the clay. And as I was rolling, I made sure that this was long enough to cover the circumference of the vase, so this ended up being about 11 inches. And now it's ready to be cut out, so I'm going to create a rectangular shape with my X-Acto knife. And I did this with the help of a ruler, and I made this about 3 inches tall. And all we need to do next is to wrap it around the bottom of the vase. And I did this very carefully, trying not to touch the slab too much. And when I got to where the two ends met, I just overlapped the pieces and cut through both of them to give it a nice edge. To blend the two seams together, I just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and even though this isn't going to be 100% perfect, it's going to be in the back so no one will notice it. And all we need to do now is to bake it in the oven according to the instructions, so I had it in there for 15 minutes at 275 degrees. And that's all there is to this project, just make sure that you let it cool down before handling. And you guys, how simple was this DIY? This space can be used in so many different ways to display your decor, or you can use this as a candle holder. It will fit in so many different spaces in your home. I just really love the end result, and I think that this subtle marble base just makes it look so much more high-end and modern. So those were the projects for today's video. As always, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I'm a little bit biased and I like them equally, so I can't really choose one, but I would love to know your thoughts. I still have a bunch of different items that I got from Dollar Tree from that trip, so I'm definitely planning to make more videos. I'm just waiting on some new materials to come in, so that should be coming sometime this month. I'm really excited about it, and if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Don't forget to, oh my God, keep hitting this plant. Don't forget to follow and tag me on Instagram if you guys recreate any of the projects from today's video. I will put my page right over here. I post on there every single day and I'll also share some of your projects on the screen. You guys are incredible. It seriously makes my whole day when you tag me or DM me on your project. So be sure to connect with me on Instagram. So that's all for me today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!